We want to shoot him down. That's our primary objective here. Pull up! <laughs> oh my tits, man. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be playing this funny game that's made off of an old game called Wings. This one, of course, is remastered, so naturally it's better. But I believe the older one was on the Omega, so that is like, what, 78, four score and seven years ago? Something like that. Anyway, welcome to the 56th, Lieutenant. I'm Colonel Farah, and I decide when you're fit to fly, since you did such a nice job filing a transfer, you get to keep the squadron journal. Alright, so, we are a second lieutenant with zero missions and zero kills, but look at this guy, Bartholomew Bateman. Nine missions and zero kills. What a noob, Mr. Bateman. He may actually live up to his name and just play the bait, but let's get into some action. So there's three different game modes. Finally arrived at Luxel. Couldn't ask for better quarters. Apparently this place was a that, spa that for King Louis XV. Nice, huh? All around us, fruit trees blossom on grassy slopes covered by blue and yellow flowers. In the distance, I can see the snow-capped Vosges Mountains, their flanks bristling with a solid mass of giant pines. Yep. It's 5 a.m. That's... fancy. A little character-building monologue there. Um... Flight group. Defeat all enemy planes. We have myself, Baron, the second lieutenant, and Major Matthew Etherton. So let us go out to battle, but there's three game modes basically within this game. The first is kind of like this first person style dogfighting mode. The second is like partner and I ground strafing and the third sunrise. is like bombing, which is like a the top down view for the last two game modes. Find the hunt. Sure enough, after a nagging lull we found a pair of worthy opponents below us. They were close enough to touch. Aha. Good work. Alright, so this is that first person, and I'm using WASD keys. Okay, and it appears that the people within the target reticles are in fact the Jerry's. This one is definitely closer. This is kind of tricky. Always go heads up, right? <laughs> uh, oh gosh. So let's loop around. Now this is the weird part. I don't know what is happening exactly. We basically did an invert right there. Not intentionally of course, but yeah, it's just forcing me downwards. Alright, are you going to comply with my demands? That was exceptionally strange, but it appeared, <laughs> I don't know what's up with the controls, because it like totally switched up on me. I was holding down S, you know, to hit my elevator so I would go up, and it was forcing me down. Now whether that's a matter of, you know, is it something about these, look at that, 100%, one for one. You see that, Bartholomew? You could learn something from me. But look at this guy, 10 for 10, 10 for 5 though. Made you Matthew Etherton, 10 for 10. We have the same ratio, friend. Yep, so we're not the worst in the group. In fact, I think we have a budding career. Woke this, this morning, morning before, before dawn, dawn and gulped down a lukewarm coffee. cup of chicory masquerading as coffee. Oh, we're going to Verdun. I'm flying wingtip on the mid-morning patrol to Verdun. So we'll have to eat breakfast later. Gas expands at high altitudes. Don't want to go up on a full stomach. Yeah. Basically he's saying, I didn't want to shit myself in my old plane. So now we're taking out 2nd Lieutenant Albert Killick. Now... How's this going to work out? Clouds open up and left the us... The clouds blah, opened blah, blah. up and left us staring into the One of him and two of us. Alright, we're flying over Verdun. I wish you could kind of look around. 
Alright, yeah, it was probably my mouse that was actually forcing us down. This is so wonky. Oh, we got hit. Okay, that's why the mouse is inverted. Whoa, hello, friend. Where is he at? Follow the red arrow. You know, there were no radar radars, lead indicators. Now, how do we look around? There's got to be an option for that. Okay, there we go. We do not want that inverted. Target reticule. That's it. Those are the only options. All right, so now... Now this is more intuitive for us. It seems more like War Thunder, as far as the arcade controls are concerned. Oh! And there's... There's no indicator whether, you know, your speed... Anything like that. Although we do have some instruments. I don't think there's... That's the sound of us falling. We are a terrible pilot right now. Oh, here we go. Still these controls, though. I wonder what it'd be like with a joystick. Not really sure how far we have to lead him, but he's kind of giving us... Oh, good lord. Alright, we're getting some hits. We're on his six. We're on Jerry's six. And we took him down, but we lost our wingman because of our ineptitude, ladies and gentlemen. What a travesty. We really need to be able to look around. That would be a very nice feature. A lone survivor returns. Baron. Two missions, two kills, one wingman lost. <laughs> I'm my status is okay. Albert Killick, may you rest in peace. Your country needs you to grow an epic mustache. Oh man. We lost one. Albert Killick. March fifth, nineteen sixteen. Over Verdun, France. Good old Killick. He's gone. Alright, so let's see. Do we get a bombing mission? I'd love to see a bombing mission. Curse the fucker scourge. These Huns really know what they're doing These Huns with, really their know what they're doing with their guns. synchronized machine guns. I'm glad we have our Vickers, but we need to start shooting more accurately, or our trigger fingers Some will soon be little more than mincemeat. Speaking of mincemeat. Sending me on patrol with two other pilots. Alright. So, myself with Matthew Etherton, our Major, and Roy Ingram, 2nd Lieutenant. It appears I'm one of those volunteers, American volunteers, flighting in England right now, because we're American. Oh, good lord, look at all the barrage balloons. All right. We got some flak, maybe? The, the uh, sky's just Squaring got a little more... An equal matchup. Equal I matchup? took my place as leader of our formation. What? The boys were depending on me as I steadied my hand to bank left and initiate our peel off. Hmm. All right. We're flying over Verdun again. There were some barrage balloons in the little cutscene, but there aren't any here. So I'm going to take this guy to head on. It's obviously the best strategy, especially against those German synchronized machine guns. Okay, let's end this now. Let's end it now! I pressed the wrong button! I pressed the wrong button! But I'm pretty sure... We're on his six. <laughs> Man, this is hard. There we go. Knock this tail off. Goodbye, Jerry. Goodbye. Rest in pieces, you hun bastard. Some victory shots right through our propeller. 
Victorious against heavy odds. I left the Bosch wreckage behind me. I would assume... Look at that. Baron. Three kills. What's up now? What do you think about that, Matthew Etherton? I think I screwed up your KD ratio. Nice flying, Lieutenant. Most pilots don't live past their first few sorties. With five kills under your belt, you're now officially an ace. Oh, I'm letting it go to my head. Whoever you are, magnificent mustache man. Three missions, five kills. Already an ace. And in our squadron, there are only two other aces. I did it three times faster than Mike Fitzgibbons. And, hmm, you know, not to Matthew Etherton's, but I did screw up his KD ratio. He's mad, bro. He's a little salty over there. He's like, who's this young whippersnapper? Colonel Farrah isn't too happy with us. He says, an unfair fight isn't a fight worth fighting. Only if we do it like gentlemen. Our job is to blow the enemy from the sky. Ooh, but strafing only if we run. Do it All right, like this gentlemen. is one of the other game modes. Today I'm scheduled All right, for so my we're gonna first be strafing. Run. This is a top-down type of situation. Avoid Red Cross. Fair enough. So this one is top-down. We're gonna be strafing ground targets, just with machine guns, no bombs. That is like kind of the third game mode. Huns, Huns on, on parade. parade. As we approached the front, we counted hundreds of enemy soldiers surging forth to gain new ground. We guessed right. <laughs> they hadn't expected us. Can you imagine World War? One style strafing. Yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. See, I can't hit that guy. He's... You're... Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. We're taking... We're taking... So it's like, how many kills can we get, I guess? We were far more accurate than you'd really be. It's so easy to fire over them. Where are my little, like, hand grenade style bombs, you know? The evolution. So this is kind of like, how many points can you get? I guess theoretically it's possible to... Oh, look at that. Taking shots from some... Oh, am I supposed to be doing that? Why not, right? Alright, so how do we do? Bad? Good? I mean, there's a champion of the trigger. Okay. Well, I guess we did good, but... Hit rate. About 33%, maybe. Destroyed 34 out of 55 possible targets. Destroyed... I don't think I was... Was I... Oh, maybe I was supposed to kill the trucks and miss the Red Cross truck. That would make sense. Interesting. Well, mission was a success. And we still are on our way to get that fabled mustache. Oh, they're screwing up my KD ratio, man. Jeez. I can only be the best ace if I'm shooting planes. It's wickedly cold this morning. And the ragged wool blanket I've draped around my shoulders isn't doing much to keep me warm. That's fantastic. Sleep is as rare a commodity around here as firewood. The Fokker Yet Scourge. even in the coldest hours before dawn, we can't stop worrying about the Fokker Scourge. Soon as the sun rises, huh. Farah is sending three of us up to take a look around. From our landing area. I haven't written anything yet about our top-notch support a team. A Bosch officer's cap on it. Right now, they're out clearing I guess the ice. that's... The Bosch is what they call the Germans, perchance? Oh, Matthew Etherton, we meet again. As well as a first lieutenant, Jack McDonald. When am I going to get promoted? I am an ace, after all. Look at these planes. Looking around, something got Looking complicated. Around, and it suddenly got complicated. There were three fuckers! There were three fuckers below us, and they wanted a fight. Alright, which one's the closest? Looks like this one up here is the closest fucker. I've got nipples, fucker. Can you milk me? That's my war call. Oh, tits. Our aim's terrible right now. Whoa! We're going down. We're going down. We, we suffered a collision. Oh my gosh, I broke my neck. 
I've got some neon pink paintball blood hanging from the back of my neck. Hmm. We'll just say we survived that. Oh, I didn't get killed. No! What? Oh, just like that? You're dead, huh? Waldo P. Barnstormer. Who's this? View pilot. What? Where's Baron? Baron should be on this list. Dang. Do we start over? Let's see. If we start over, this game is a lot harder. Not looking forward to this more. Uh, I think so. I think we start over. Dude, this is a hardcore game. Alright, so we just gotta get this first kill. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is intense. Look at that spread on those on those vickers right there. But you know what? We learned from the overconfidence and cockiness of that pilot baron. Look at that. We almost made the same mistake. But you know what? This is what I think of that. Time to do a corkscrew. Victory! Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try to skip to a bombing mission since this is repeating missions we've done previously. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be with you shortly. The fighting has become bitter. The German pilot we captured keeps telling us that the Central Powers are going to bleed France white. Too much schnapps. He thinks Verdun is a turning point in the war for his side. I think he's been drinking too much schnapps. Hmm. Just got so we're gonna go intercept a patrol. Alright, we're with First Lieutenant Geoffrey Gordon. Geoffrey Jordan. Pardon my dyslexia. That's why I'm a pilot after all. Not much reading's necessary. Or well, how few know. But on a more serious note. As we reached the skies over Strasbourg, we spotted three monoplanes on patrol above us. Monoplanes? They had the advantage entering their dive, and we were forced to split to avoid the attack. I don't really think that's what I have to do. Get a feel for who's first. First in line appears to be this Jerry. Or that Jerry. The Huns are everywhere. It's getting crazy already. Alright, we'll take one in a heads up. Are we? Can't tell if that guy's shooting at me or someone else. Oh, tits. We're under, we're under attack. That's my ally. My wingman. Shot his tail off. Look at the beautiful carnage. Now where's the third one? Unless my my wingman took him down. There he is. Hello, sir. First lieutenant, how did you do? The 56th would revel in victory till our next match against the Hun. Can you imagine? Good job, Joffrey Jordan. Two out of them. All right, you know, we're building it up. Wow. Bartholomew Bateman, we remember him when good old Baron was part of the squadron. Oh, Jordan just got promoted to captain. Dang. That's impressive. And Mr. Adam Orwell's going ham over here. It's kind of cool how the stats keep up. Every day I learn new things about this war. This morning I found out that Farah has an informant on an enemy base. That a For a Gotham few shillings a week, he gets tips on what the Huns to bomb our boys have done. Last night, warning came on the wireless that a Gotham is coming oh, at noon today cool to this? bomb our boys. Alright, so we're going to be going up against a bomber and one... Four of us against a Gotha bomber and one escort. I'm telling you, man. War Thunder should really look into World War One air combat, whether it be like an expansion, a mod, something like that. Like, 
This is an exciting stuff. I mean, this is the dawn. The beginning of air-to-air -air combat. Farah has been buying his tips wisely. At noon, we found the Gotha and its escorts circling their Verdam prey. We said a quick hello hun from a peel-off formation, prepared to send our visitors plummeting back to Earth. Quite right, quite right. All right, why are there two? Okay, here's the bomber to my left. Let's let's take a look at it. It's huge. We want to shoot him down. That's our primary objective here. Pull up! <laughs> oh my tits, man. If we could look around and we weren't so zealous, we wouldn't encounter those problems. But needless to say, Mr. whatever where our name was is now dead as well, along with Baron. Oh wow. Newly promoted Captain Jordan killed in action. What if we collided? Oh my gosh. Massive failure. Oh gosh. Continue. Yeah, let's continue from the last save. I didn't know we could save. Alright, so hopefully we go up against that goth mission. The fighting has become bitter. Alright, so we had to replay that mission again. We lost good old Roy Ingram, but we were able to take down three of the enemies. Monoplanes, of course. No new arrivals, and Roy Ingram is resting in pieces. So we made it to an ace, and hopefully we get that Gotham mission. Every yes. Alright, I, I want to see this bomber. So last time, what happened was we got a little too overzealous and ran in to the enemy Gotha bomber. But there's the giant bomber. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a traditional. What you would normally do, what would make the most sense, is kill the fighter escort and then go after the bombers. So we'll take down... This biplane here seems to be posting up on my friend, my wingman, but there's a bunch of us. There's the Gotha. Alright, but we're gonna go after the other fighter. There he is. Ah! Oh, showing me, you six friend. Get prepared to be wrecked. Ooh, I think my compatriot got him. My comrade in arms, sir. First bit of sherry's on me. Is that what they would do? Alright, we got him here. We're ripping it up. We got it. Oh, look at this. That's amazing. I love it. Another etching in the art of success. We'd blown the Bosch into oblivion. I'm assuming... Oh, wow. I was the only one who got the kills. One of them, it looked like... I, uh, you know, someone else got it, but... Jeff Jeffrey Jordan. What's interesting is... He actually died when we died. Oh, we have Andrew Gilmer. Welcome. Welcome to the party, Mr. Gilmer. So our KD ratio is now positive. We have eight kills, putting us into the higher ranks of the 56th. Now please, a bombing mission. Our machine guns are about to get a whole lot better. A German plane with Anthony Fokker's new sink gear just fell into our hands. The pilot got lost in the fog and landed on our side of the line. Sure hate to be in that Hun's boots when he finally gets back to his CO. Strafe. Ladies and gentlemen, we need we need a good World War I plane game. You know, the style like War Thunder. War Thunder should do it, and if not, but anyway, if you guys have any really, really good kind of World War I themed flying games, let me know. But this is 
Wings Remastered. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Um, I like how there's a storyline. I like how like pilots die and you can become familiar. You can see the rise in ranks of your fellow pilots and wingmen. You know, how they get higher ranked and then depending on how you perform and how they perform in a specific mission, they could die. You know, and um, I find that pretty interesting. And there's three game modes. The strafing I'm not too big a fan of. Bombing I'm a big fan of. It's kind of fun and a nice little break from the whole, you know, first person flying around. I wish you could look around left and right. For 12 bucks, um, it seems like it's on sale right now from, I believe it's 15. But on Steam, it's like $12. Links in the video description below. Check it out. Maybe worth it if this is kind of your thing. If you're more interested into kind of a story driven where the results, you can actually see the impact from what happens in a given mission. You know, as far as like crew members, um, dying and new ones coming in and seeing the rise and fall of your fellow men-at-arms. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bear and I thank y'all for watching. Give this video a like and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.